This video is sponsored by ThreadUp. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and today we are taking a very red powder room and turning it into a bold, colorful, and just like overall happy place. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before we get started. I do tons of renter-friendly makeovers, small spaces, studio apartments. We're almost at 500,000. Just kidding, we're only at like 412. But we will get there. That is the next goal, 500,000. Make it happen. We're coming to you from the future. Lottie was just taking a bath and she's like, why are you holding me? But I'm just popping in here to let you guys know that we have released more virtual makeover packages over on my website. They are live right now. For those of you who don't know, I offer a virtual makeover design service where I make over your space virtually. So you send in pictures of your space, measurements, and I send you back a 23 page handbook filled with design plan, colors, materials to stick within, a floor plan that's to scale, product suggestions, with links within your budget, a video for me walking you through the whole process. It really is like a customized handbook so you feel empowered to redesign your space. We've also been listening to the feedback and now are offering two tiers. So if you have a smaller space that you wanna make over, maybe you need help with creating a gallery wall, styling a bookshelf, that package is for you. Limited spots available, you guys sold out last month within a couple days. So if you want to get a spot, make sure you click the link to my website. All the details are there and I hope I get to make over your space virtually. Enjoy the makeover. Hi Alexandra, my name's Christine and I just bought my first condo in the city a few months ago. I love everything about this space, but the second I saw the color of the powder room, it had to go. It's sort of this murdery, handmaid's tale red and definitely not my style. My first plan was to just paint over it as fast as possible, but I feel like with powder rooms, it's kind of a chance to be bold and fun and impactful. So your call out on Instagram couldn't have come at a better time. I've watched a ton of your videos, getting inspiration for the rest of my space. So I trust your style and I know that you'll come up with something amazing. We love that Christine owns her own home in Toronto. You go girl. As Christine mentioned, the room that is just not working for her is this red powder room. There's a white cabinet on top of the toilet. We have this white mirror and then your pretty standard wall sconce. I feel like when you're working with a small space, it just means you can like really go bold with the finishes, the accents, the hardware, the paint colors. I wanna pop up an image that I found that kind of inspired this makeover. Even though we're doing a completely different vibe, I saw this and I was like, this is a fun, quirky bathroom. So we wanna try and implement the same quirkiness into Christine's. First thing we're gonna do is just wallpaper over this, this red wall. The four red walls, actually. Hi guys. <laughs> I'm laughing because this bathroom is just so red. It's day one, prep day, and I'm gonna show you kind of like the chaotic behind the scenes, just cause that's always fun. All of our packages, props, it's chaotic. The first thing we're gonna start doing is just take down everything in this bathroom. So the cabinet, the mirror, the light. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh. The wall was blue before. Very blue. They went from blue to red. Bold choices. Bold, bold choices. I have Graham here helping me today. There are two Grahams and a Chico. If you're not following, you should do so. What? You just rhymed. Really? There's two Grahams and a Chico. If you're not following, you should do so. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> so the first thing we are doing is taking off the sink, which is gonna make it way easier to wallpaper. Now, I have a whole team of people that helps make these makeovers come to life. If you have never taken a sink off the wall, today is not the day to try. <laughs> like, just don't. You can totally wallpaper around a sink. We just wanna make it like as clean and tidy as possible for Christine. I wish I could have just gotten Graham's reaction because I was just like, wait, we're not actually wallpapering this wall. Excuse me? But we are tiling it with smart tiles, so the sink needed to come out. Okay, did you hear that? The sink needed to come out. <laughs> For a 
minute I was like, oh my gosh, we didn't even need to do that. But um, no, we, we definitely did. Moving on. Christine's gonna watch back and be like. So I'm gonna unbox this wallpaper. I'm so excited about this. I actually have a panel of this hanging in the studio because I just love it so much. So the fact that we actually get to use this in a space today is really exciting. It's from Bell Art Studios, which is a Swedish wallpaper company, and they don't sell peel and stick. They only sell the paste kind. Their patterns are just like unlike any other wallpaper company that I've worked with before. If you're looking for something really bold and colorful, they're the place to go. I can't really get it out of the box. I'm really gonna try hard here. Stand by. Look at this. Like, how fun is that? I wanna wallpaper my whole house in this. Getting the paste ready? Yes. We forgot a tray, like a painting tray. So Graham has come up with a garbage bag one. box situation, which is uh, great news. I do wanna mention that Christine owns this home. So we're able to do these more permanent changes, like pasting this wallpaper on the wall. It's so small in here, I'm in the corner trying to film. I actually really enjoy pasting wallpaper onto a wall. It's very like therapeutic. But if you are a renter, keep in mind that this wallpaper is like semi-permanent. You can take it off the wall, it's just not super easy to do so. Um, <laughs> so, so um, shooting is uh, real hard in here. You guys know most of the time I do use peel and stick wallpapers. I will actually link down a few of my favorite retailers, but if you've watched any AG wallpapering video, it's probably peel and stick. <laughs> it's a lot of back of your jumpsuit shot. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. But like I'm trying to trying to find the angles. Hi. Hi. We've got most of the wallpapering done, so now I'm gonna move on to peel and stick tiles. We are going to tile halfway up the wall, so we're tiling just above the sink area. To start, you want to trim the side of your smart tile with an X-Acto knife and a ruler so you have a nice straight edge, and you wanna push it into the corner of your wall and just kind of stick out from there. Smart Tiles has guides of where to overlap the next tile, so it's really easy and really intuitive to use. When you get to a corner of the wall, you just wanna press the tile into the corner just as if you were wallpapering and then just exacto it so you get a nice clean edge. So to get, you can't see me. <laughs> so to get around the pipe situation here, I'm just gonna use scissors and cut along this grout line so it gets as close to the piping as possible. And then once we put the pedestal sink, this should be hidden, but we'll just do touch-ups as needed once the sink is in. That's the beauty of these tiles. You can literally just use scissors to trim them. For those of you wondering, these are smart tiles. I've used them in many different spaces and every time I use them, I forget how easy it is. One note that I will make is that these work so well when you're tiling over existing tile. They're renter friendly when you do that because you just pull them back and they don't leave any sticky residue over the existing tile. I get a lot of questions about what tile you can use it on. You can use peel and stick tiles over just about any existing tile as long as it's like a pretty flush surface. We are tiling directly on the drywall, which means that these tiles aren't gonna necessarily be renter friendly because if Christine was to ever pull them off, they would take off that top layer of paint. So just a note, if you live in a rental, make sure you're not sticking these on drywall because you'll have to just sand and repaint the wall when you take them off. Okay, hot tip for you. See the edges that look kind of uneven, you can see the red paint underneath. We are just using some caulking to go along the side of the tiles and it's gonna seal them in and make them look like real ceramic tiles. Back at the treehouse, around the peel and stick tiles in my kitchen, I did this and it just like takes them up a notch. It like cleans up all the edges and just makes it look really professional. But like, come on, like, come on. It's just that extra detail that makes it even more elevated, right? Yeah, totes. Okay, so now it's time for the light. We really loved this shell style. 
It's called a capiz shell and it looks like a seashell on your wall. Alana actually found this really incredible one on Facebook Marketplace that she's on her way to pick up right now. Sorry, I can't take your message. Number, I'll get back. Leon? Oh, okay, he's coming down. We love. Secure the light. Oh, God. It's very heavy. Beautiful. This light looks epic, you guys. Oh, my goodness. The detail of it. We love a good thrift find and this wallpaper just is incredible. What a great productive day. See you in the morning. Okay, so before we head to Christine's, I wanted to open this really exciting package with you, get ready for reveal day and show you my outfit. I have been shopping at ThreadUp recently, which is an online consignment store, making it easier to get your hands on the most stylish items without breaking the bank and all the while reducing your carbon footprint. They have so many well-known and popular brands like Free People, Madewell, Lululemon, and even carry designer items like Kate Spade. I've always found it a little overwhelming to shop secondhand in store, but ThreadUp makes it so easy and accessible. I'm gonna try on everything I received, see how it fits, style the outfits, and then pick one that I'm gonna wear for makeover day. Okay, so the first item I got is this Madewell top. It's kind of a longish fit. This retails for $89 and I got it for $23. I have paired the top with these really cute Franco Sarto flats. These retail for $95 and I got them for $25.99. Next piece is this Truly Madly Deeply top. The estimated retail price is $36. I got it for $11.99. I'm obsessed with this dress. The estimated retail price is $48. I got it for $10.99. This Abercrombie & Fitch vest is my Sherpa dream come true. The estimated retail price is $98. I got it for $25.99. And finally, another Madewell shirt. This retails at $89. I got it for $22.99. If you want to shop sustainably while also saving money, make sure you use my code Alexandra in the description box for an additional 30% off your first purchase with ThreadUp. You'll also get free shipping. See you at Christine's for reveal day. Hi guys, it's day two, the moment you've been waiting for it. This wallpaper looks even better than I could have ever imagined it would be. Are you ready? Three, two, one. We put up the wallpaper, obviously. We also put up this peel and stick tile and caulked around the edges so it's all nice and secure. It looks so good. It looks like real ceramic tile. We also hung the light. We're almost done with makeover. The first thing I'm gonna do is touch up under the sink. There's a bit of tile missing from around the plumbing and I would suggest if you are in a similar situation, instead of trying to cut the tile around the pipes, it's just never gonna be super clean. Just use some white paint and a paintbrush and blend it in. We are adding some fun hooks in here for toilet paper and hand towel. And again, like when you're working in a small space like this, even if you have a bold wallpaper, take the accessories up a notch too and just like lean into the boldness. So we've gone with this silver towel holder. It's very ornate. I love a good gold moment, but the faucet's silver. So we have to lean in a bit to the silver, but I think it really works in here. Look at this cute Allen key. It like makes a little squeaking noise. We're gonna put some toilet paper on here. Cute. So next up, I'm adding a shelf behind the toilet. Christine had a closed cabinet. She literally just had one roll of toilet paper in there. It's not like she was storing a ton of stuff. And in the powder room, you don't want closed storage because it's gonna make your space feel even smaller. And it's not like you need to store like a whole second set of toiletries, you know? So we found this shelf from HomeSense. I think it was on sale for under $30. It's just so fun. This looks so good, but the silver screws against the black hardware is is driving me nuts, but I have a hack that we've been using a lot and I love it. All you need to do is take nail polish and just cover the screw. Elena, do we have the nail polish? Our nail polish didn't make it into our kit. It's at the office. We have gold, white, and black because those are the common colors that we usually need to use. But we do have a Sharpie and a Sharpie will work just as well. Next up, I'm sure you can guess what this is. Can you, Carla? 
It's a mirror and it's in this really wavy shape that has been happening all over Pinterest and Instagram. It's from the Etsy store called Mirror Home Decor Art. They kindly sent this to us for this makeover. I will link them down below because they have tons of cool trendy pieces just like this one. Also, before I put it up, I want to say that we really are mixing styles. Like we have the very ornate hardware, the kind of boho shelf. This I would say is like modern, skinny modern. You know, Art Deco, kind of. Official, I don't know. <laughs> and it's all just working together so well. Look at this selfie spot, so fun. I want this bathroom. I think why this works so well is that the shape of the mirror is mimicking the shapes in the wallpaper. So even if you have different styles going on in a space, pulling out colors, shapes, and patterns that are similar will make it feel cohesive. I think we need a glossary of terms of Alexandra's words. Cohesive is definitely. You're so mean to me. You try and do this job. I have to keep you humble. I know. Okay, so we got this print from Minted. You guys know I love Minted art. There's like so many options. The frames are beautiful. It's this lovely line drawing, really letting the wallpaper sing and do its thing. I wanted to put it a little off center, just so it was a little bit more visually interesting. Okay, so I found this piece in Christine's hallway. I don't know who the artist is. I will find out from Christine and link it down below. I really love the vibe of it. I think it's really fun. I think it's because the colors are similar to the colors of the wallpaper. So it's either we replace the line art with this or we put it beside. Do we do both? Like, I don't know. But then it's like, does it just take away from the wall? I wish all of you viewers could just like weigh in live. <laughs> And tell us. Oh, I love that. Okay, I think we gotta leave her up here. Alana made such a fun comment. She was like, it looks like her tears created the wallpaper. <laughs> Profound, actually. And it is such a small space. Like if we had a smaller art print, I think a smaller print beside could work. Kind of took away from the whole wallpaper, whereas like this totally complements it. So we're gonna leave this one here. Okay, quick upgrade to her switch covers. Now, I chose not to do something decorative, but you could totally have fun with this. And there's like so many fun switch plates, wood ones, there's metal ones, gold ones, ornate ones, but I'm just sticking with white because we're really letting the wallpaper just have its moment here. Next, I'm adding this Amber Apothecary soap bottle, but I'm hanging on the wall using this gold bracket. I have this in my own bathroom at home and it just makes the space feel like a hotel, but also keeps clutter and stuff like this off the sink. So great for a small space. And now it's time for all of those finishing touches. This powder room is so fun. I'm in love with it. I wish I could just recreate this in my own home, but no. You need a small space for this to like really work and it really works. I'm a little bit nervous because like she told us to be creative and go bold, but like we really leaned into that assignment, you know? We understood that assignment. So it is time to reveal the space to Christine. Okay, before you step in, do you remember what your powder room looked like before? So red. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit murdery. Yeah, a little murdery. <laughs> just a tiny bit. <laughs> Okay, are you ready to see what it looks like now? I think so. <laughs> One, two, three. Light. Oh my gosh, there's tile. They're not ceramic, yeah. they're just peel and stick. They look real. So we really leaned into the bold yeah. and colorful. I love it. It's like very, very cool. This is cool. Everything's <laughs> cool. Love it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, good. 
Don't forget to check out the link in my description box for 30% off your first order at ThreadUp. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.